Let's get right into it. Number one, your body's own personal haunted house. You ever just sit there minding your own business and then feel something crawl up your spine? No, it's not a spider. It's your own body playing tricks on you. Those random chills you feel. Yep, that's your body trying to freak you out. And what's worse, you can't even blame it on a horror movie or a spooky Halloween vibe. It's just your nervous system sending random signals to your brain like, hey, let's mess with them a little today. We call this frisson a fancy word for when your body suddenly decides it's had enough of the usual calm and instead gives you a little jolt of adrenaline. The feeling might be tied to something like hearing an unexpected sound or a sudden memory, so while it feels like the spirit of a ghost is about to possess you, it's just your body's way of reminding you that it has no chill whatsoever. And if that's not enough, don't forget those phantom feelings like when you swear you've heard your name being called except no one's actually said anything. Your brain's like, yeah, I'm gonna make them think they're going crazy for a second. Number two, the creepy science of your skin. Okay, let's talk about your skin for a moment because it's the ultimate double agent. On the one hand, it keeps everything inside you, you know, safe and snug. But on the other hand, it's totally plotting against you. Have you ever been sitting down minding your own business and then bam an itch, you scratch it. Then what happens? It moves. It's like your skin is trying to test your patience. That tiny bug bite on your leg. Oh, it's not just there to annoy you. It's probably trying to infect you too. Thanks, immune system. But here's where it gets really weird. You have these tiny things on your skin called hair follicles. Yeah, those things that make you look human. But did you know they're also like secret surveillance stations? They're constantly taking notes, reacting to the environment around you. It's why you can feel a breeze or notice when someone enters the room even before they've said anything. Your skin is like an unblinking watchman. So next time you're itching like you've got a secret mole in your skin, just remember, it's probably just your body's very bizarre version of a prank. Number three. Your stomach has a mind of its own. Ever feel like your stomach is conspiring against you? That moment when you think you're just chilling and then out of nowhere your stomach starts growling like a bear. Oh sure, it's just a little hunger, right? But the truth is, it's not your stomach that's making all the noise. It's your gut microbiome having a party. Inside your stomach, there's an entire ecosystem of bacteria that decides, yeah, let's make some noise today. And here's the kicker. These microbes in your stomach don't care about your social plans. They're like that one friend who thinks every hour is happy hour regardless of where you are. They're actually sending signals to your brain, influencing your mood and even your cravings. So, when you find yourself eating that extra slice of pizza, it's not entirely you. Your gut's over there saying, trust me you need this right now. Basically, your stomach is its own little anarchist society and you're just the unwilling bystander. Number 4. Your bones are basically secret superheroes. Let's talk about your skeleton. You've probably never thought about your bones much other than when you stub your toe on the coffee table and loudly curse your life choices. But here's a creepy fact, your bones are constantly regenerating. I'm not talking about some slow process here. I'm talking about the fact that your entire skeleton is being replaced every 10 years. Like who needs a new car when your body is doing a full on makeover of its own infrastructure? But here's the twist, while your bones are regenerating, they're also secretly watching you. They have this memory function. Yes, your bones can remember things, like if you've had an injury in the past. It's kind of like how your brain remembers where you left your keys, except your bones remember when you twisted your ankle 10 years ago, and they'll make sure you never forget it. So next time you're in pain, don't just blame the fact that you're getting older. Your bones are probably holding a grudge against you for that one time you tried to walk around barefoot on gravel. Number 5. Your eyes are like mini cameras with a twist. Your eyes the window to your soul. Or in this case, the window to your weirdly complex body that has its own weird quirks. Imagine this, you've been staring at something for a while and all of a sudden your eyes start to play tricks on you. It's called visual snow, that sensation, where you see tiny flickering dots or a hazy image in your vision. It's like the universe decided to show you static just because. And let's not forget how your eyes have built-in blind spots. Yup, your eyes can miss things on purpose. You're walking through a park and your brain conveniently overlooks that small twig that you definitely could have tripped over. Your body is like, yeah, let's just pretend that's not there. It's like your body has a built-in filter to save you from the messiness of reality. If only it could filter out all the embarrassing moments though, right? So next time you spot something in your peripheral vision and wonder if it's a ghost, don't panic. It's probably just your eyes being the quirky little rebels they are. Number six. Your nose, nose, more than you think. Okay, let's address this. Your nose is a superpower you never even knew you had. Think about it. You can smell someone's perfume from across the room, but your nose also has a memory bank of scents. 
It can remember things like the smell of your grandma's cookies or the distinct scent of rain on dry earth. And this memory isn't just for nostalgia. Oh no, your nose is secretly warning you about things. That random bad smell you can't explain, it's not your imagination. Your nose can detect danger even when your brain hasn't caught up yet. It's like the silent alarm system of your body. The reason you instinctively recoil when you smell rotten food or chemicals isn't just because it's unpleasant. It's your body's way of saying, hey, something's wrong here. You should probably pay attention. And when you smell something you love like fresh cut grass or your favorite food, it's not just about enjoyment. Your brain is also releasing dopamine, the feel-good chemical. So basically your nose is not only catching smells but also controlling your emotions. It's like a tiny puppeteer hiding on your face pulling all the strings. Number 7. Your brain isn't as you as you think. Let's talk about your brain, the big boss of your body, the one that gets all the credit for your intelligence, your memory, your creativity. And yet, it can also be your worst enemy. Because while you think your brain is making all the decisions, it's often not. In fact, your subconscious mind is usually the one calling the shots. It's like having a puppet master behind the curtain pulling the strings without you even realizing it. Let's say you've ever made a split-second decision that you immediately regretted, like eating that second donut, or texting your ex after a couple of drinks. That wasn't your conscious mind acting. That was your subconscious brain doing its thing and deciding that you really needed that sugar rush or to reconnect with your ex right now. And the creepiest part, your brain is constantly tricking you into thinking you're in control. It's been proven that your brain often decides what you're going to do before you're even aware of it. So the next time you feel like you're in the driver's seat, just know that you're probably riding shotgun with your subconscious steering the wheel. Spooky, right? Number 8. Your lungs are secretly superheroes. You probably don't give much thought to your lungs. You breathe in, you breathe out, and that's the end of it, right? But what if I told you that your lungs are secretly multitasking and saving your life every single second? They're working so hard that they're basically doing cardio 24-7 without ever asking for a break. The lungs don't just bring in oxygen. They're constantly battling bad air and toxins. Ever thought about that? One time you breathed in a car exhaust? Yeah, that's your lungs doing their best superhero impression. They fight off the nastiest air pollutants turning your body into a fortified fortress. And what's even crazier, your lungs are able to heal themselves. They can recover from things like smoking to a certain extent, but it takes time. But here's the creepy part. Your lungs don't even know who or what they're fighting half the time. They just react to the air you breathe in. Your body has its very own army of little soldiers inside, and your lungs are at the front lines putting in overtime just so you can go about your day without feeling like you're drowning in toxins. So yeah, they deserve a round of applause. Number 9. Your blood is basically a river of chaos. Now let's dive into your blood. It's all over your body flowing through veins, arteries, and capillaries. But did you know your blood is actually a little chaotic? Like a wild river, it's constantly moving, rushing to where it's needed most. It's not just delivering oxygen and nutrients, it's also running a tight security system. Think about it. Your blood carries white blood cells that are constantly looking for anything that doesn't belong like viruses or bacteria. If something's wrong, these cells literally go on a rampage causing inflammation and sometimes even fevers to fight off invaders. But here's the bizarre part. Your blood doesn't always just stick to its own business. It can choose to form clots when it feels like things are getting too messy. Imagine a river suddenly deciding to dam itself up because it doesn't like what's coming downstream. So when you cut yourself, your blood decides, okay, let's put a stop to this flood. It's like a spontaneous roadblock popping up right when you need it. So next time you're feeling a little extra chaotic inside, just remember, it's not you, it's your blood being its own little anarchist trying to keep things in check. Number 10. Your teeth are low-key, full of secrets. Let's finish with something most of us forget about until it's too late your teeth. Not only are they like little treasures sitting in your mouth, but they hold some serious secrets. For one, your teeth are constantly in a battle for survival. You ever wonder why they're so darn strong? It's because your teeth are constantly working to fight off plaque bacteria and even the food you eat. They're like little sentinels guarding your gums, putting in all the work, and you just take them for granted. But here's where it gets creepy. Your teeth can also reveal a lot about you. They hold information about your health, your lifestyle, and even your diet. Your dentist can figure out a lot by looking at your teeth like if you've been grinding them at night or if you've been a little too friendly with sugary snacks. And if your tooth enamel starts to wear down, it could be because your body is silently screaming for help, like when you're stressed out or dehydrated. So yeah, your teeth aren't just little bones in your mouth. They're secretive little detectives tracking all the ups and downs of your life. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.